welcome to my graveyard of Hi strangers! How are you? How was your week? I would love to know and yes I am Star Raven and this is my gothic eternity welcome down here with me to the graveyard this morning it's absolutely beautiful let me show you around so i am sitting against a tombstone here and yes this is one of my friends and i have had a really great week and i love coming here to my favorite place and to chat to you guys about the things that i have got up to this week and yeah just just chat really so it's our like chatting time because i don't really get a lot of time just to sit tell you what happened like behind the scenes of my videos and it's really nice to come down here because it's my favorite place just to chat with you guys and yeah just talk about the week so i am going to start all the way back from saturday it's very windy i'm very sorry about my hair it's blowing around everywhere it's so lovely down here I've already been like staring at crows while they've been crowing at me. I'll put a little video here so you can see. It's absolutely beautiful. can't get over the weather today it's just windy and so sunny so i'm gonna start back to saturday last week and oh my goodness i went to a goth market yes it's the first one i've ever known of in brighton since i've been here and it was so freaking cool i got to look around really cool stores i talked to some really lovely people and i had a really great day i got myself some gothic goodies and yeah, it was just one of them days where it just felt perfect. It was nice weather. I met Jane, yes, um, another goth YouTuber. You probably, everyone probably knows who she is. She's amazing. And yeah, it was just, it was just, I was like starstruck from seeing her because like, she's so cool. And I did see her a very long time ago when I first moved to Brighton. And I was just like, wow, you're so beautiful. She is still absolutely beautiful today. So it was so great to see her. So yes, we looked around some goth stalls and wasn't there so much to pick? I didn't know what to get at all. I wanted everything and I mean everything. And it was so exciting to me. And yeah, but the problem with me is when I get around a lot of people, I'm okay for about half an hour, an hour, and then I start really panicking. I don't know why, but I've always had this. Um, I feed off too much emotions of people, I think, and I let it get to me. I've been trying my hardest to try and stop that from happening. My shadow here is really bugging me now as well. It feels like I've got someone watching me. Um, so, uh... So yes, yeah, Saturday, I'll we'll tell you a bit about the moths because I haven't really talked about them since I've got them. They are still alive, thank goodness. But I have had a pain trying to find privet and it is meant to be a very, like, a bush that's around everywhere and can I find it anywhere here in Brighton? I have looked everywhere. I have gone out nearly every single night searching for a, a privet 
and it's been a nightmare and I feel really bad because I want to make sure that I'm doing the best for my caterpillars. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, I'm dyslexic and I call them, weirdly by a different thing, I call them caterpillars because that's the only way I remember what they are because they're soft and squidgy like pillows. I know, I'm dyslexic, I'm sorry. Um, I say it was punkin, I can't say that right either. I say punkling or punkin or, yeah. But you know what I mean, I'm very sorry. I have been trying to fix this problem for years and I can't, there's, there's a few more words, but I won't say them now, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing, but it, uh, sadly it's just a part of me. I'm sorry if that offends you at all. I don't mean it to, it's not, it's not what I'm here for. I don't want to, it's embarrassing more for me, trust me. Um, yeah, so if I'm saying it wrong, I am very sorry. I might have said it right, but I'm not sure. I'll just say that now. And yeah, I've been wanting to give them the like the best diet I possibly can really. And I d I'm just finding it so annoying. I can't, just can't find this silly bush. So my mum has very nicely brought me one from Amazon but I'm not sure exactly what state it will be in, if it will be big enough to feed to them or how quickly they will eat it. But they have survived over a week now on things that I've just found that look like it and they have been eating so fingers crossed they're going to be okay. But it's one of them things that is kind of driving me insane because I don't want them to die. And it feels like so much pressure because online there's hardly anything about what to feed them. Like anything else apart from privet or from a um, night, deadly nightshade is the other one. And apparently if you feed them deadly nightshade they all become poisonous and you can't hold them. And I don't want my kids to be like hurt by them either. So it's very complicated. But I have learned a lot more about the moth stage of them which is really cool because you actually have to hand feed them and I, I'm like wow um, so I am vegan they eat honey but I will make obviously obviously I will feed them honey and water because that's what they're um, the only thing they can eat so um, if anyone knows of anywhere I can buy like um, honey from somewhere that from someone who does it very nicely then I would love to know any information because I do hate to take from animals because I'm vegan and it does mean a lot to me I know I'm sorry but I need to make sure that my, my moths are nice and healthy if they ever become moths hopefully so yeah that's been stressing me out quite a lot this week um, and obviously the kids have been at home as well which has made it very difficult to do any um, very big style golf videos because they I've got to spend time on them obviously um, and I have been doing really lovely things with them we've had fun like um, Legos and um, going out to laser zone I think you might have seen that as well this week um, so they've I've been giving them stuff to do at home and like with the things in the bathroom I obviously while I'm doing that in a few hours they're, they're doing other things that make them happy so yeah, it's, I'm finding it very hard trying to juggle the, the holidays, but it's all fun and I'm doing, I'm doing a good job I think, I'm trying my hardest, so I'm very sorry my videos haven't been up to normal standards this week, or last, last week, or this week to come. I've got one more week of them at home and then, yeah. But the market was perfect and absolutely amazing i can't wait until there's another one i loved 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 going to talk to all the storeholders i thought that was really fun and it, very interesting to find out how long they like had their businesses and things like that so yeah i've met some really lovely people on the sunday we had our silly easter um giveaway day which was so fun i like I really enjoyed it I was very daft I am sorry when I get slightly bored I go a bit cuckoo so yes I was wearing big sunflower glasses and I looked like a bit of a fool 
but I don't mind. I had fun and I hope you guys had fun with that as well. I managed to give away two vouchers to two of my lovely subscribers. So that was really nice. And someone really lovely gave someone a membership as well. So how lovely is that? So yes, it was a great live stream and I'm definitely going to do, I think, another giveaway like that again next time because it was, it was so fun. And Green Witch, if you are watching, I do owe you something because you are my patron and I always give my patron gifts. So if you watch this video, please contact me. Yeah, because I haven't seen you since you um, became a patron. So it'd be really great to, to talk to you and find out what you would like for your giveaway prize. I still have another parcel to send back because um, it went all the way out to America and then got sent back again so I still have that to do I am very sorry and I've forgotten your name um, but I will do it I will get around to it it's just been a, it's a tough week this week for us because I've spent it all on laser zone <laughs> yeah I hope you guys all had a really great Easter it was it went so quickly for me I don't know why it was like like Easter Easter egg hunt stream done and it just felt so odd it felt like such a a, like a full stop and it doesn't normally feel like that it normally just seems to equal a bit further but it didn't it just felt like it just it just ended there so last week i have been doing lots and lots and lots and lots to the bathroom and it's been so nice like getting through it and just like getting it sorted out there's a doggy in it how cute is the doggy so yeah it's been really nice just getting through it and sorting it out really so i've been doing i've done the wallpapering i've been painting and i even managed to do the frames yes i have now got black frames and black skulls i just decided to go with it uh, as i started to paint it i was like even if i just skim the gold over like skim it with black over the top i don't think i still would be happy with that but I had the paint out and I decided just to go for it, just to do it black. And they look so much better now and I can't wait to rehang them. They are dry now but I will wait till probably tomorrow or the next day to hang it up. So it's very exciting, very, very exciting, very exciting. And I'm getting closer and closer to just it being finished at last. Sorry, I'm watching a, a dog playing with a stick so cute oh yeah and i still couldn't believe i drilled into tiles i felt so so naughty and it felt like a massive risk but i did manage to do it in the end and i'm glad i did because i don't have to worry about the silly plastic shelves falling off while i'm in the bath again because it did hurt it fell on my head first of all i thought dexter had knocked one of them off through the night and but then one fell off while i was in the bath so then i i was just angry and i was like right I'm screwing them up and they're staying up forever now so yes then we this last and then last week we went charity shopping which is something i really love to do but i really really hate how much then prices have gone up because going to the charity shop used to be great for when you didn't have a lot of money and you wanted to treat yourself or just to go out help the charities and you know do your thing but it's cheaper to either buy from Timu or to buy from other places, even Primark, which makes it so annoying because I just wanted to, you know, help charity and get some bargains as well. But I did manage to find a few, but it's still disappointing because there's so much more I would have got if it was cheaper. Yeah, it's not fair. I don't think it's fair at all, like, yeah. I have been over to Worthing to see my parents um, this week as well to the kids to go and see their grandma and granddad in the Worthing we call them and that was so nice to go see them haven't seen them since Christmas so that was really good I don't know why they're not even that far away but yeah it's just you know family and life and things but it was so nice to go and see her yeah my mum and dad haven't been too well so yeah it was nice to go over and, and check that everything was okay over there and then we went to laser zone yeah i thought it would just be something really nice to do with the family and 
um, everyone enjoyed it. I thought it was really fun. I, I have always been worried in case it was like something like only small children went to or something like that. But there was a quite a few adults playing as well, so I didn't feel like I was like getting like I didn't feel like a, a silly goth in a weird situation. So yeah, that was so fun and I really enjoyed it. I'm really glad I took them out there. It was very expensive though, because it's the holidays. But yeah, Laser Zone was really good. I couldn't believe how seriously my kids were taking Laser Zone though, it was funny. So, it's my birthday next week. Yes, I am getting another year older and I'm very excited because I started YouTube just after my birthday last year and I have met and talked to so many amazing people since becoming a YouTuber and it's it's just amazing and to know that my birthday is next week and it's going to be my first year of YouTube it's just an incredible feeling and I never thought that I would even last it this long and yeah it's thanks to you guys thank you so much for your support your messages and absolutely a freaking freaking adore you guys it's amazing so i have planned a live on my birthday so that's next sunday and i'm not sure what time it's going to be yet it might be earlier than what it's scheduled for but yeah if you are interested please don't forget to go over there and to um, put a reminder on that i will be going live on my birthday hopefully yes it's very exciting i am very excited i'm hoping to have cake on there maybe and maybe open some gifts as well so yeah i'm very excited so um yesterday i just chilled out i played some games i played destiny with my husband destiny 2 and yeah it was just a chill day i really love to do absolutely nothing on saturdays just to try and build up my energy for the rest of the week because actually doing these videos every day is very tiring and very stressful especially when i don't know what i'm actually doing for that day and yeah but i love the challenge at the same time so it's kind of like my husband keeps telling me to slow down and do less videos so i'm like no i am really enjoying it at the same time it's tiring but it is fun too and uh, on saturdays i love to sit and read like messages that i haven't had chance to read as well so it's really fun knowing um just going through the messages seeing what you guys have thought of things and loads of lovely suggestions for my bathroom as well which have been really helpful and yeah i just really appreciate you guys just telling me what you think and things like that it does help me out a lot and also it makes it fun i think as well it makes me feel just so proud and so happy like to have you guys thank you so much if you do if you do want to show your appreciation over on my channel you can the best way to help me out is to become a patreon and you'll be put in for giveaway prizes and also we can just chat over on patreon as well which is really nice they've just started this new message like text type thing so we can talk to each other whenever we want to which is really nice and you can check out my merch here if you look down here at the bottom of the screen somewhere it says store and you can find stuff that i have made merch that i have actually like put together and made from my drawings and things like that yeah down here in my store so yes you can buy something from there that would be really helpful as well also you can become a member here on youtube so i think here somewhere as well it says member and yeah that's just a small fee every month and that will help me out with all my goth goodies all my videos um my diy projects i am planning to make um some concrete pots for my garden which is something also i'm really scared about that i've never done before but yes it will all help me out towards things that we can do together over on my channel which is very exciting you can check over on my description down here as well which will be under the video somewhere and it will tell you lots of other things you can do as well like even just buy me a little hot chocolate and that will make my day it really would and i do appreciate you so much and even if i don't do them things just being subscribed to me means the world to me and watching my videos and your lovely comments are just perfect so thank you so so much and 
yeah, I think that's all I have to talk about. I've had a really great time here down at the graveyard. I, yeah, it's just been a great week. I'm looking forward to this week. I've got lots of things planned for this week. More bathroom stuff, more garden stuff, and lots of other little bits. If there's anything you can think of that you'd like to see me do in a video, please just, just comment below here. We can have fun. It doesn't have to be anything serious. I'm so looking forward to my birthday and yeah so yeah please come along over to the stream and just say hi on my birthday that would be great because I don't want to be sitting there alone on my birthday and yeah I will see you later and don't forget be weird be yourself and be different because otherwise you're just boring <laughs> I'll see you later.